Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I will do a demo on how to reverse engineer a basic part with X Model Pro from Shining 3D. Let's get started. In this demo, we did a quick scan with the Einscan HX2. Einscan HX2 is the upgraded version of Einscan HX and boosting to 13 crossed blue laser lines. For more info or a free demo, please contact us. Next, let's import the scan data. This is a quick scan of a hand pump. In many cases, for reverse engineering, a complete scan of the object is not required. To demonstrate this, I have deleted some area from the scan data, such as here and here. Next, let's check on the amount of triangle in this scan. If the data is too heavy, it will be very slow to process on low spec computer. In this case, we have more than 2 millions of triangles. I think this is a bit on the heavy side for a small object. So let's reduce this. I will reduce the triangle down to 20% at around 400 over 1000 triangles. Click on preview. Then turn on the deviation check. For demonstration purpose, I set the tolerance to 0.1 melman. As you can see, the mesh is now changed to green color. Based on the color map, we know the decimated mesh is within 0.1 millimeter tolerance. Check this to keep a copy of the original mesh. Now we have two copies of the mesh. Let's hide the original copy and continue to work with the one at 20%. Mesh that exported from scanning software is normally floating. This is because the object typically captured in the scanner's coordinate system. So the next step we will align the mesh to the X model coordinate system. To do that we need to extract some primitives from the mesh. This will be used for the alignment. Click on extract primitives. By looking at the object shape, I think we can extract the main body as cylinder. Click on analysis to ensure the cylinder is extracted within the tolerance. Next we can extract a plane from the object, maybe from this surface. Okay, here is a better choice. Let's extract from here. Use the magic wand to select the flat surface around here. Then from the pop-up, select fit plane, and now we have a plane created. Next, we will start to align the object to the coordinate system with the extracted primitives. To do that, go to Align Tool, then select Align by Coordinate System. Primary feature select Cylinder, then Secondary feature select the plane. As we can see now, the object is properly aligned to the coordinate system. Now we have completed the preparation steps. Next, we will begin the reverse engineering process. First, we'll work on the main body, then followed by the pulling sticks, and lastly, the handle. For the main body, I will use revolve command to generate. In order for this to work, we need to create a 2D sketch. I will select this area as my reference profile. In X Model Pro, provide a complete set of tools for sketching, and also tools that can extract shape automatically, such as line, arc, circle, and curve. In this screen, the line in white color is our reference line. As you can see now, I'm extracting the straight line from the reference line by just selecting it. You can also join the connor automatically by pressing the control key while selecting the both end points. Repeat the same action to extract the rounded corner. We have now completed the 2D sketch for the main body. Select the sketch and choose Revolve from the pop-up, and the solid is now created. Before moving to the next step, let's check the tolerance on the newly created solid compared to the original mesh. As we can see the main body mostly in green, meaning it's created within the tolerance. Okay, let's work on the pulling stick. We will use the Revolve command again to create the solid body. But for this time, I want the reference line generated only on the pulling stick. To do this, we will first make a selection on the mesh, then click on 2D Sketch. Choose for Revolve Surface. Rotate the arrow until here. As this side, we have the complete profile to generate the reference line. Now we can construct the 2D Sketch, same as the previous steps. Okay, the sketch is ready. Let's do a Revolve. 
The solid looks fine. Let's check on the tolerance. The tolerance is good too. But we are not done yet. The mesh shows there are some straight groove on it. On both sides. To create the groove, we will first construct a 2D sketch for the groove profile, then extrude to 3D solid from the sketch, then by using the groove solid to cut from the stick body. Let me demonstrate the steps. Move the cross section here, ensure we have a good reference line to work with, then we start the 2D sketch for the groove. Alright, the 2D sketch is done. Let's extrude this into 3D solid. Remember the groove need to be on both sides. So I will use the pattern tool to duplicate the groove solid to the other side. Okay, let's cut the groove solid from the stick body. In some CAD software we call this as subtract boolean operation. We have now completed the second part. As usual, let's verify the tolerance of the solid compared to the original mesh. It appeared mostly in green. Okay, let's continue to the final part, the top handle. As you can see the handle is an irregular shape object. To reverse engineer this with the standard CAD tools is not an easy task, but in Xmodel Pro, that's a tool just for that. I will demonstrate this in a second. Start with making a selection of this handle from the mesh, then go to Auto Surface, leave everything default, and just click on Preview. As you can see the surface is generated automatically without any complicated steps. The tolerance appeared to be very good too. As you can see, Auto Surface is a very powerful tool that can generate surfaces for organic shape object. It's the best automatic surfacing available today. Next, we will extend the bottom surface and smoothen the boundary so that we can trim it flat in the next step. Click on the Extrapolate tool, pull and extend the surface, then use a brush tool to smoothen the boundary. Now we have created the surface for the handle. Next, we will trim it flat and make it become a solid body. To do this, we need to construct a plane to use for trimming. We can use this area to extract the plane. Go to Extract Primitives, use the Magic Wand tool to select here, adjust the sensitivity, select some from the other side, then click the plane icon. We are now ready to trim the handle surface that we have created earlier. Click here to show the surface. Hide the top part, then select both the plane and the surface. Click on Trim. In this screen, all we need to do is to select and delete off the unwanted part. The object is now indicated as solid body. At this stage, we are about to complete the reverse engineering process, and so far we have constructed three individual solid bodies. Let's combine the individual solid bodies. Select this and this. Click on Combine. In X model, rounded edge can be created easily. Just select the object, click on Fillet command, highlight the edges, and set the radius. Then we have the rounded edge. And the last step, I will combine all the solid bodies into one. Hold the Control key and select each of the solid, then click Combine. Basically, we have completed all the steps now. Let's do a final check on the deviation between the mesh and the CAD model. It's mostly in green, while presenting the mesh with minimum deviation, and this is the result that we want to see. We can now export this model to other format, such as STEP file or IGIS file for further process. With the advanced features provided in XModel Pro, the entire process takes merely 10 minutes. It is the most effective 3D reverse engineering software for hybrid modeling on the market. For more information about reverse engineering solution, training, or services, please feel free to contact us at Trinventor Solution. Thanks you for watching.